It is a great satisfaction to greet you again, I hope you and your pet are well. Today we will talk about the following. My dog having trouble chewing. Why? If your dog stops eating or shows changes in his appetite and eating habits, you should try to find out what is causing his behavior. Maybe your dog is simply bored of eating the same kibble for quite some time, or he could be suffering from digestive problems, teeth and gum problems, or other illnesses. 1. Tooth and gum problems. Tooth and gum problems are quite common, especially in older dogs and small dog breeds. Swollen gums, loose teeth, and other problems affecting the mouth and associated structures can cause dogs to be unable to chew, eat slowly, or not eat at all. The dog may drop food frequently while he eats or chew only one side of his mouth. If your dog has unusual bad breath, plaque and tartar buildup on his teeth, and swollen, bleeding gums, he may have periodontal disease. 2. Check your dog's mouth. If you notice that your dog is having trouble chewing, check his mouth for any signs that indicate the presence of a problem, such as swelling or inflammation of the structures in the mouth, including the gums, fractured or missing teeth, bleeding gums, and other anomalies. Regardless of whether your pet has an oral problem or not, its mouth should be checked regularly. These are opportunities to spot signs of early dental problems that should be reported to your veterinarian. 3. Symptoms of Toothache and Mouth Pain in Dogs Tooth pain in dogs can develop for several reasons, inflamed or swollen gums, a broken and infected tooth, cavities, and plaque and tartar buildup are just some of the most common causes. Tooth pain may be to blame for your dog's chewing problems if you notice the following symptoms. Unusual drooling. Drooling normally occurs when dogs chew on treats or toys. But when there is a toothache, drooling becomes more frequent than usual. In some cases, the saliva may be tinged with blood. When this happens, you should take your dog to the vet immediately because the underlying problem may be more serious and complicated. Bad breath. Bad breath, halitosis, differs significantly from so-called dog breath. Halitosis is stronger, smellier, and doesn't go away even when you brush your dog's teeth. Loss of appetite. A dog with a toothache may not eat as much as he usually does because it hurts him to chew. You may notice that your dog starts eating and stops eating suddenly. He may complain or drop food while he eats. Chew on one side of the mouth. A dog with a toothache will try to chew on the side of his mouth that doesn't hurt. If food suddenly touches the painful side, you may drop it suddenly. Sudden shyness. If your dog loves to be petted but suddenly moves away from you when you start petting his head, a toothache may be causing him to behave this way. As dogs get older, they become more prone to age-related problems. One of them is dental conditions that cause them to have more sensitive teeth and gums. This can make chewing hard, dry foods more difficult and even uncomfortable. 4. Myositis of the masticatory muscle. Myositis of the chewing muscles can also be a possible reason for chewing problems in dogs. It is an immunological disorder characterized by the inability of the dog's immune system to recognize its own muscle tissue, attacking it. The masticatory muscles participate in chewing. Affected dogs suffer excruciating pain when opening their mouths. They cannot eat, chew, or use their mouths to play with their toys. 5. Quality of pet food. Your dog's reluctance to eat and chew his food may also be due to poor quality pet food. The quality of the kibble begins to decline a few weeks after opening the bag of pet food. Buying kibble in smaller bags or transferring pet food to an airtight container can help preserve quality. Sometimes your dog is just bored with his food or just doesn't like it at all. Try introducing a new type of pet food or going back to an old one if you recently switched to a new type or brand. It is a pleasure to inform you and help you, if you have not subscribed to the channel you should do it now, take care of yourself and your furry friend, a hug and until the next video.